Hi Key Stage 2, welcome to your cricket lesson this week. This week we're going to be working on our fielding skills. So the last few weeks we've worked on a few things, we've worked on our batting and our bowling. This week our main focus is going to be around our fielding. Fielding is so important in cricket, it's going to be the thing you do the most when you start playing in games. All right, so it's important you love it, you work hard, but also you enjoy your fielding as well. All right, so throughout the video I'm going to show you three different things. I'm going to show you how to catch, how to throw and also how to work on your ground fielding as well. And a lot of the drills I show you, you can do them at home, so please do send your videos into the sports account and we can put them on the social media platforms. All right, the first thing I'm going to work on is our catching. Very simple point, use two hands when you catch. That's the first point. Second point, try and be, make sure you're nice and balanced when you catch, your knees are bent, your back is straight and your hands are ready. And the third point, very simple, but try and watch the ball into your hands. All right, if you do that, there's more chance of you catching the ball. Right, we'll do a very simple drill to start with. All right, our knees are going to be bent, my back is straight, I'm going to bounce and catch as many times as you can in 60 seconds. To make this harder, maybe go on your right, left, middle, right, left and middle. But look where my head position is, it's nice and close to the ball. All right, so that's one exercise we could do. The second exercise we could do is a throw catch. Throw catch, you do it outside of your body as well, maybe in front of you. Again, as many times as you can in 60 seconds. And the last one. Throw up in the air, clap catch, clap catch. You can go outside of your body, clap catch, clap catch. Again, as many times as you can in 60 seconds. But I think the key thing is when you're, when you're catching the ball in cricket is to watch the ball into your hands. All right, if you have space in your garden or in the park, you can maybe do some running and catching as well and also a li little bit more high catching as well. All right, so there's lots of things you can do at home. The next thing we're gonna work on is our throwing techniques. All right, so throwing in cricket, again, is really important. You will do lots of throwing as a fielder. I'm just going to talk about your position when you throw. Again, I mentioned a lot about creating a base and being balanced. This is the position I want to see when you're throwing. All right, so it's a bit like it's a bit like batting in cricket, but also bowling in cricket as well. You're setting a base for your feet. This time when you throw, you can bend your right arm. All right, so when you bowl, you keep it straight. When you throw the ball when you're fielding, you can bend your arm to get a little bit more power and a little bit more accuracy as well. All right, so let's let me just demonstrate again. I'm going to balance this with my feet and my body. Left arm, right arm is going to come through nice and fast. That's where I'm going to get my power from. A drill you can do at home. Let me just get set to stump. I'm just going to put them over here. All right, so I've got a target to put stumps. You can use a bin, you can use a water bottle, whatever, just to make it a little bit harder for you. And also this distance is quite close. You can extend the distance depending on how you're getting off. Get in position, create that base, and throw the ball. All right, I've hit the stumps, but I am quite close, but you can just change the distance. All right, so you can work on your throwing at home. The last thing we can work on is our ground fielding. So ground fielding is when the ball has been hit to you by a batter, your job is to stop the ball. I'm gonna show you two techniques you can use. First technique, you can use a long barrier. All right, so a long barrier is this position here. So if the ball gets hit to you really, really hard, all right, and you're gonna to struggle to stop the ball or it's gonna be quite hard for you to stop the ball, this is the position I wanna see. All right, so I'm in a good position. My right foot is facing that way. My left knee is on the floor and my hands are ready to stop the ball. All right, if I miss the ball now, it might bobble up. It's going to hit a part of my body, which means you're still going to save the runs. All right, so this is a good position to be in when you're stopping the ball and using a long barrier. All right, so that's position one. Position two, we're going to work on a two-handed pickup, but this time you're attacking the ball. All right, so I've got a static ball here. The ball's going to be still. So up a little bit further back. I'm now going to pick the ball up with two hands. Okay, look at my position again. My knees are bent, my bum is to the ground my head is over the ball and I'm watching the ball into my hands. Let me just show you again. So we've got long barrier. You're gonna use this when the ball's been hit hard at you. And you've got the two-handed interception, two-handed pickup. All right, and that allows you to throw. All right, so I've showed you quite a few things. I've showed you how to catch, how to throw, and also how to stop the ball when we're fielding. The last thing I'm gonna mention in terms of our ground fielding, a drill you can do at home, your parent or brothers or sisters, can feed the ball out to your underarm. You can look to either stop the ball with a long barrier or you can stop the ball using a two-handed pickup. All right, so have a little go at home. We've worked a lot on our field in there, a lot of the drills you can do at home, but really enjoy your field and you've got to love it. All right, don't forget to send your videos into the sports account. Enjoy, good luck.